Hello and welcome to Science Uncovered. Today we'll be answering the question, what is colour? So what is colour? The best place to start will be explaining how we can see anything. Light is all around us, whether it's from the sun, a light bulb, or from some kind of mobile device. This light bounces off of objects and into our eyes. But that still doesn't explain where colours come from. We asked students from Sussex University some questions about colours. Hopefully they can find a way to explain it. What do you think colour is? I have no idea what the colour is. Colour to me is uh, emotion and feelings and stuff like that. I really don't know what colour is. Um, I guess it's, I think about the sun and I think about rainbows and things that are lit up. When I feel sad, I would be like, uh, feels like colour is really dark. I think colour starts from the beginning of life to me. It depends on my mood. I would say red is my favourite colour. So when I'm happy, I would, you know, choose red. Um, I think it has something to do with the sun. I think the sun is what gives us colour. Interesting. How about we ask the experts the same questions? Ask Dr. Marco Pesianti, lecturer in physics and optical physics research group, what is colour? Colour has all to do with the perception. So it means that when you actually see colours, you naturally don't speak about colours of the light in the sense that light is made of colours. You speak about actually what you, you feel, you perceive. Light consists of photons, small energetic entities, and when one photo hits one of the receptors you have in your eye, you perceive a color. The reason why my eye is able to see the orange from this piece of plastic is basically because in this direction everything but the orange is basically transmitted or absorbed by this material. For the same reason a wall can look white because practically everything is reflected, any color with any specific difference is reflected by them. The two mechanisms are basically absorbing what you, would, what you don't see, and you would see what remains. Visible light comes in a spectrum of colours. You would have seen this in rainbows. Colours range from red all the way through to ultraviolet, a purpley blue colour. Light can be emitted from light sources, such as light bulbs or the sun. They emit all the frequencies of light, and therefore all the colours, appearing white. Other light sources, such as laser pens, emit a single frequency of light. Therefore, we only see one colour, for example, red or green. OK, so you've explained what colours are from a light source. But what about objects that do not emit light? Well, everything else that we can see reflects light. Therefore, if we have a white light source, such as a light bulb and a green ball, the ball will mainly reflect the green frequencies of light. So what is actually happening? Well, we need to look closer, a lot closer, all the way down to the atoms that make up the green ball. Light that is coming off of the white light source arrives in all frequencies, but only light that is a green frequency will be reflected off of the green ball. Why is that? Atoms are made up of two main parts, the nucleus and the electrons that orbit around the outside. The electrons orbit on energy levels. The more energy they absorb, the higher energy level they can jump to. Light from the light bulb at a green frequency will hit an electron and cause it to absorb energy, jumping it up to a higher energy level. Almost immediately, the electron jumps back down to the lowest energy level, emitting only a green frequency of light. Therefore, when we look at the ball, all we see reflected is the green light. Any light that is emitted from the white light bulb that is not green, such as red light, does not have enough energy to jump the electron to the green energy level, so it is absorbed by the green ball and warms it up. This is similar with light that has more energy than green light. For example, blue light emitted from the light bulb will have too much energy for the electron to jump, so its energy is absorbed, also warming the ball up. So now we know why green objects only reflect green light. The same goes for all other colours. This explains why red objects are red, green objects are green, and blue objects are blue. Colour is light. And last of all, thanks for watching.